Hello, một hai ba bốn. Okay. All right. So um, on the second part of section 8.2, we continue with our uh, last curve, last conic curve. Uh, this conic curve we call the hyperbola. And what a hyperbola look like, uh, and ha how it's come into existence. So let's get started. So second part, hyperbola. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me uh, close this. Okay. Let me focus this. There you go. <coughs> so if I have um, again, if I have a cone, I have a cone like this. Okay. Um, I have a cone like this. Okay. And I have another cone upside down. Okay. Alright. And if I let a plan, a vertical plan, okay, a vertical plan, something like this, it cut through the cone. Okay, a vertical plane cut through the corn. Okay, and when it's cut through the corn, um, uh, you will see that I cut two corn at two curve. Okay, cut the corn at two curve. The first curve will be something like this. Well, it's kind of very hard to uh, draw. Uh, let's see, it's going to be something like this. Okay. And another curve could be something like this. There you go. Just imagine. Okay, just imagine. Alright. <coughs> okay. So these two curves over here, okay, uh, combine, then we call these two curves hyperbola. Okay, we call it hyperbola. And we also have <coughs> a horizontal hyperbola and vertical hyperbola. So what I have over here in this picture is a vertical uh, hyperbola. If I draw the cones sideway and I draw and I have the uh, horizontal plan cut in two corn then we have um, then we have a horizontal hyperbola okay so on the first part the first part I will be talking about horizontal I think we're gonna talk about yeah let's talk about horizontal hyperbola first And I will be talking about the one that uh, the one which center is at the origin, and the one which center is someone somewhere else in the coordinate system. So it's kind of similar to um, ellipse also, uh, and um, uh, even the equation is kind of similar. It's just a little bit different. So for horizontal hyperbola. Uh, so I will be talking about. Hold on. Uh, I try to mimic what I have last time. Um, okay, so I will be talking about uh, the one uh, which center at the origin. So, um, uh, so I have a coordinate system like this. <coughs> okay. Okay, and um, I have a hyperbola like this. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, this is not a good drawing. Okay, something like this. Okay, okay, 
again we still have uh, so if I have a horizontal uh, hyperbola so it means the OX the X axis will be the major axis okay and the Y axis will be the the minor axis okay all right and uh, over here the point right here is the vertices so I will call the point uh, A1 right here and this uh, A2 and the distance from the origin to those point we call is the A so this is negative A comma 0 and this is A comma 0 <coughs> okay we also have um, the focus the focus will be outside uh, so I just say over here the focus is here so this is F1 so F1 is uh, negative C0 again we, we have the relation between A, C and B and what is B I'm going to tell you right away and uh, we have F2 over here is C0 okay and the B value the B value uh, and the A value it help us to create uh, a box we call the central box okay we call the central box <coughs> uh, okay a box that look like this so it depends on the A value and the B value uh, the box will be bigger or small you know so the B value is the distance from here to here so over here I will call point um, uh, B1 okay point B1 right here coordinate is um, uh, negative B oh, 0 negative B <coughs> over here B2 is 0 B Me. Sorry, guy. I still have allergy. So this is um, zero, the origin. Okay, and we have the equation um, for hyperbola like this: x square over a square. Okay, minus uh, y square over b square equal one so kind of similar to the ellipse right so the only thing is that uh, the minus over here <coughs> is the minus over here and for ellipse it is plus yeah. another thing is that um, a and b values uh, when we talk about ellipse we we consider if a where a is b bigger than b or or a less than b depends on uh, how you name name the value under the x and y square over here but uh, for hyperbola actually we don't care we don't care much about a and b okay it could be a over here the value over here could be bigger than the value here or the value under the y could be bigger than the value under the x okay and because over here the major axis is um, uh, a1 a2 okay so it look like the a value the a value is more important than uh, than the b value okay the, b, the a value is more important than the b value so we will have uh, uh, two vertices only okay two vertices only um, for ellipse we have uh, uh, you know, I remember I say that we have totally four, but um, it, it depends on each book, okay? Uh, um, for the horizontal ellipse, uh, actually, we have, um, uh, in the in our textbook, we have only two vertices. But uh, if I ask you to write out all the vertices for ellipse, then just make sure you write A1, A2, B1, B2. But however, in the hyperbola, we have only two vertices, okay? So, uh, vertices. Where we have uh, only two of them will be uh, the plus minus a comma zero okay the b1 and b2 we don't call that uh, vertices okay uh, 
Mm. But for B1 and B2, um, in ellipse, uh, depends on you have horizontal or vertical one, you may call it uh, vertices. Okay. Um, if I ask you to find all the vertices, then you just go ahead and write all of the A1, B2, B1, B2. Okay. <coughs> and the vertices, again, the vertices, is, I will tell you, is that you have a, a vertical or horizontal ellipse. In this case, the same thing. And the vertex it might help you find if it is a horizontal hyperbola or vertical by hyperbola okay and we have um focus is on plus minus c comma zero you have to think about is if you see if they give you the focus in this form then you know right this is horizontal hyperbola okay um and we have the relation uh between um a b and c and the relation is much simple. Uh, it could be c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, so I'm going to box this. Okay, I'm boxing this. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, just want to make sure that everything still record being recorded. Yes. Alright. You know, I don't want to talk for the whole hour. Then finally, I don't have a video for you guys. <laughs> so it happened to me before. So that's why I keep uh, constantly uh, checking um, the recorded which uh, app software right there. I just have another uh, software. And so you see that this uh, over here. I don't have uh, the, the 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 benchmark right. I don't have the mark right over here. So this this is good. All right, let me fix this a little bit. And the line is not quite perfect. Okay. Well, and that's all we can do. <coughs> okay, so we have c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, so a and b over here again. a and b is uh, not a big problem. Um, um, if you have equation like this, you know that it's horizontal hyperbola. Uh, you know, a and b value uh, won't tell you like um it, it just tell you which one is bigger it tell you how how big how and how the uh, the box look like however it just, just it wouldn't tell you that it's a horizontal or um, or vertical hyperbola okay <coughs> and we also have uh, eccentricity so eccentricity e will be equal to uh <coughs> c over a always okay so it will be the value c over the value under the x okay <coughs> and we have uh, also we have directrix equation it will be uh, directrix equation when you scale will be x equal to plus minus um, a square over c okay I don't know if I mentioned directrix in um, uh, let's see in the hyperbola in the ellipse or not. Uh, let me see. Mm. Yeah, I do have, I do have for ellipse. I also have the directrix also, uh, but I never mentioned the directrix for the center uh, that is not at the origin. Maybe for this uh, for this one, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I mentioned that. Okay. So this is the directrix equation for <coughs> um, for her hyperbola. Okay. And we also have we also have um, <coughs> uh, asymptote. See, for the ellipse, we don't have asymptote. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to move up. <coughs> so, for Habala, we have asymptote. So, it will be y equal to plus minus <coughs> uh, b over a x. Hmm. Okay. 
okay so that is the uh, asymptote so uh, whatever un under the y value you uh, divide uh, the value under the x value, okay but only a not b square and a square okay all right so that uh, that the asymptote okay okay um so that is the um, so uh, for the hyperler i think the way i'm uh, I, I give the lectures it's a, a little bit different let me talk about um the horizontal hyperler the host, uh, which is center is not the origin uh right now then we do uh, example so last time when we talk uh, when we talk about ellipse so, so i give you uh, the equation for uh, horizontal ellipse right then i give you the example right uh, but uh, this time i think i'm gonna do uh, both of them uh, then we do the example i think uh, that's why it would be i don't know i don't know which way is better than the other i just want to try uh, a little bit different the way i uh, uh, i lecture okay because some some of you guys uh, understand the other way some of you guys really love this way okay all right now uh, for um, whatever we have a horizontal of hyperbola and, and which is center is not at the origin uh, we have something like this okay uh, so I'm gonna put over here this is a central box or sometimes it's the, it's a rec the central rectangular is kind of same thing um, again we still have um, x and y corner system <coughs> okay uh, and we move the center instead over here we move the center over here uh, and we if the center over here we have the the, the major uh, the major axis will be here so the major axis is not at, uh, on x uh, axis anymore so the center right now is uh, center right here okay I, I think I'm gonna call it I okay okay all right and um, again we have something like this I have over the horizontal okay mm. it's not a perfect one but mm, I'm trying to be perfect yeah okay okay um so we st also have uh, a right here a one over here and a two over here okay and uh, we also have f1 over here f2 over here similar to ellipse so every time we have the center um shifted then the coordinate of a1 a2 f1 f2 of course could be different okay it's not going to be like this uh, it's not going to be uh, like this anymore okay and how we know that uh, when you do the problem when you draw the picture then you know right away you don't need to memorize the, f the formula the formula is a dumb way to learn uh, conic curve because uh, in order because I just need to change uh, a and b or uh, I just to change a different value I can use a uh, u and v then you guys like mess up okay so don't learn about the formula if you learn by the formula make sure you really understand it okay so um, uh, I will have the center box like this. Just imagine the center box is like this. Okay. Then over here I will have uh, B1. <coughs> over here we have B2 again. Uh, I don't know the coordinate for B1 and B2. Okay, because it shifted already, so it will be uh, changing. <coughs> okay, and. The equation for this shifted one will be x minus x square over a square plus minus so y minus k square over b square equal one. <coughs> okay. So uh, the i over here will has coordinate h and k. Okay. All right. In uh, c, uh, c square uh, will be uh, calculated based on uh, the a square and the b square and in this case the a and b a will be from here to here okay so a will be from here to here so that's a and b will be from here to here okay b is all right and again c square is still equal to uh, 
uh, c squared is still equal to a squared plus b squared, so kind of the same, but c is from here to here. So it's, this is c. Put c, this is c right here. Um, all right, so this is c. <coughs> okay. Is the uh, distance distant from the center to F2 or distance from the center to F1? <coughs> uh, so I'm still boxing them. <coughs> um, the eccentricity E is still uh, C over A. Okay. Uh, the directrix equation is still the same okay directrix equation is still the same so uh, I mentioned that over here last time for the ellipse I just say it's, it's the same but I don't really write it down <coughs> uh, the asymptote is uh, different because uh, it shifted already so the asymptote um, uh, the asymptote will be this. Oh, I forgot about drawing the asymptote. So the asymptote is basically it uh, right here. Okay, and the second asymptote is this. It go through the origin. So the, this is the y equal to plus b over a, and this is y equal to minus b over a. Similarly. So for this one, the asymptote will be this. You go through the origin and go through the vertex of the rectangular. And it's going to be something like this. <coughs> and because this is asymptote, so make sure that the curve, it never crosses the asymptote. Okay? It get close to the asymptote, but it never crosses it. And because this is shifted already, so you see everything shifted. So the asymptote is not uh, plus minus b over a x anymore, but the asymptote will be y equal to uh, plus minus b over a x minus h plus k because we shift it. Okay, that's the new asymptote. Okay. In uh, in the ellipse, we don't have asymptote, but. Uh, for the uh, hyperbola, we have asymptote. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I can make it a little bit light, uh, brighter. It doesn't work. Kind of same. Okay. Now let's jump to our first example. Okay, so we have an equation like this. 9x squared minus 4y squared yeah, minus 36 equals 0. Again, it's, you see the, uh, the equation this doesn't look like what we have here, right? But we need to manipulate a little bit more. So, add both sides by 36, right? Add both sides by 36. It's not nice uh, the line is not good uh, okay uh, then divide both sides by 36 so we have um, <coughs> x squared over 4 minus y squared over 9 equal 1 okay so this 4 this is 9 <coughs> okay um, if we see something in this way, uh, in this form, we know right away that this is in uh, horizontal hyperbola. It doesn't matter. It's uh, a over here. It's, it doesn't matter which one is bigger. It doesn't matter. Okay. So in this guy, I can change a little bit more. So it will be two square minus one square over uh, three square. <coughs> All right. Um. Okay, now we're gonna find all the information. Uh, so we have uh, the vertices. So the vertices 
a uh, will be a plus minus uh, two zero right that's the vertices we because we know the major axis uh, is uh, horizontal axis the minor axis is uh, vertical axis okay uh, we can get the C but in order to get a C we need to use this one C C I squared A squared plus B squared so it will be 4 plus 9 uh, 13 okay so uh, the focus F will be uh, plus minus uh, square root of 13 uh, 0 right we can find uh, <coughs> eccentricity if you want to actually we will and we ask you to find uh, and you know all the tests I ask you to find all information so essentially it will be uh, e over c over a so it will be uh, uh, c over a so it will be because e again is all uh, is between uh, zero one is all is always greater than zero so we cannot uh, take the negative c over a <coughs> okay So I'm gonna put and I put again and put over here is between zero less than C less than or less than E less than one the E cannot be greater than uh, it cannot be less than zero or we or we positive uh, we can get asymptote so y will be equal to plus minus uh, b which will be uh, three over two x right. and I also can find the um, oh, this is directrix. I'm sorry. So now we can find the asymptote will be y equal to. Oh, this is. Oh, this is asymptote. I'm sorry. So it's asymptote. And the directrix will be x equal uh, plus minus a squared should be 4 over square root of 13. Yes. 4 over plus minus square root of 13 so this is a uh, directrix okay easy so that's all information we can get all right <coughs> um, let's see I can uh, do something else here We will be uh, learning how to uh, write uh, a hyperbola. So let's see. Okay. Yeah. Example number two. Okay. Okay. Um, there's so many ways I can come up with uh, this type of uh, equation, writing a uh, hyperbola equation. Uh, so you guys have to be very flexible, okay? Write hyperbola equation, okay? Okay, uh, which goes through point M <coughs> twenty four five and have asymptote asymptote Y equal plus minus phi over 12 x <coughs> solution okay so we have uh, asymptote y equal to uh, phi over 12 x and we know that um, this is um, Okay, so this is um, 
this has asymptote is y plus minus 5 over 12 x and it flow 2.24 over 5 okay 5 okay so how are we going to do this how do we know the thing is that how do we know that is this uh, horizontal or vertical one actually right now we just know the horizontal so I'm sure that this is a horizontal one we haven't talked about vertical one yet but after we learn the vertical one then this is your responsibility of figuring out which is vertical or horizontal you want to write it depends on information on the on the problem on the question all right just imagine you have what if it's a vertical one okay uh, what you can have uh, this is this hyperbola goes to point 24 over 5 and we have y equal to plus minus 5 over 12x 5 over 12x if uh, 5 over 12 is the slope right of the line right uh, so 5 over 12 is mean that it's kind of uh, uh, the right is very small compared it's small compared to uh, rise overrun over the run right because the run is 12 rise over run right so uh, it's kind of it's not really stiff one it's not really stiff as I'm talking. it's kind of uh, uh, you know it's kind of fl flattened down uh, the asymptote one is 5 over 12 so just imagine if if okay just if okay if this one is the uh, horizontal uh, uh, hyperbola so we have uh, something like this right uh, and we have asymptote like this 5 12 so rise over and 1 2 3 so I'm gonna do 1 2 3 4 5 I do a very small one so this 0 right here 1 2 3 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 12 is here right run so this is 1 2 3 4 8 10 12 right here so this is uh, uh, this will be the asymptote right so this asymptote like this right you got this 8 right here 8 right here so this is uh, 8 right uh, 10 12 so this is 12 right here right okay <coughs> so this 12 right here and this 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 right here rise over and right 5 over 12 right and if you have the other asymptote it's gonna be something like this right so you have um, a line like this let me, let me see I can have the ruler yeah There you go. I have the asymptote like that, right? <coughs> okay. Now, the point M is 24, 5. So 5 right here is 24. Is where? Where is 24? It's 24, this is 12, right? So this is 12. So 24 double. So right here. So 24 right here. So 5, 24 is the point right here, right? This is point M. This is point M. So 5 right here. 24 right here. This is point M. Just imagine. Just imagine. And I guarantee you that this is must be hyperbola one. A uh, horizontal hyperbola. Because it cannot be vertical. Vertical isn't going to be somewhere up here. We will we'll be talking about a vertical. So. Okay. So vertical will be on the other side of the asymptote. It's up and down. So the aim is the the value is the point that's hyperbola, hyperbola going through. So it must be something like this. Something like we don't know exactly what it looks like, but it must go through point aim. So it must be something like this. Okay. We don't know where the vertices is. We don't know where the app is, but it must be something like this. 
okay on the other side like this so 24 on the other side so it's kind of hard to draw so so like this this something like this right here so it must be the 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 the, the hyperbola is coming like this and like this okay so based on the information they uh, give you in the question then you know this horizontal or hyperbola, uh, vertical hyperbola okay all right and now we're going to write this hyperbola equation so we need to write out the formula first we need to know a and b all right we need to know a and b uh, so how we do it we know that some thought is equal to what y equal to plus minus right the asymptote is plus minus what b look at that b right i cannot see it the formula b over a x right plus minus b over a x will be equal in this case plus minus 5 over 12 x <coughs> so i can set up the uh, uh the ratio b over a will be equal to 5 over 12 B is not 5, okay? A is not 12. B over A is equal to equal 5 over 12. The ratio. Okay? Okay. Um, so that is B over A. And the point, the hyperbola go to this point. So we can set up the equation, we can plug them in over here. So uh, the x will be 24, so it will be 24 square over a square minus uh, 5 square over b square equal 1. Look at that, we have a system of equation that has two variables. Okay, so 24 square is a big number, so I'm going to use calculator. 24 square is uh, 576. So 576 over a square equal to 25 over b square equal 1. <coughs> so I'm going to solve for a and b as long as I can solve for a and b. Then you see that we we can uh, we can um, we can get the equation. Okay. So how we solve for that? <coughs> um, so from here I can get b. So b will be equal to 5 over a over 5 a over 12, right? You know, you guys in pre-calculus already, I'm not gonna go back and show you how to do substitution and elimination method, you know. This is a system of equation, everybody knows how to do it. And this is the system uh, you know uh, of the uh, of the nonlinear. So um, so it's everybody know actually we already talked about uh, you know the last chapter in, pre uh, in college algebra I remember okay so uh, don't tell me that you never learned this okay all right so you guys know how to do the system substitution so I'm gonna substitute this to this so my equation become 576 over a square minus 25 over b square so it'll be 5a over 12 square equal one okay <coughs> so uh, my equation become what I keep solving uh, so I'm sorry you guys need to see on this side and I need to write on this side so it's kind of hard so I will have a 576 over a square minus 25 over uh, 5 over 12 square so it will be 25 a square over 144 equal one <coughs> okay so uh, 25 25 can show so you have 576 over a square uh, minus uh, keep chain flip keep chain flip, 144 over a square a equal one right because 25 25 can show out keep chain flip then everything can show out so 576 with this is you subtract two fractions which is the same denominator so you will have um, 576 minus 144 you have 432 a square equal 1 so you have a square equal to 432 
and you take square root no not a nice number uh, but we don't need it right we just need to know a square <laughs> okay uh, so we know a square already you uh, uh, you're gonna get b square so we know that b equal to 5a over 12 so from here I got b square is the 25a square over 144 right so I mean what I mean b square will be equal to 25 a square is uh, 432 over 144 let's see <coughs> oh, of course I had to use calculator for this one uh, 432 times 25 you divide by 144 uh, give you 75 nice number so I got a square I got B square so I can get the equation so X square over a square is uh, 432 minus uh, Y square equal 75 equal 1 and this is the final answer because our job is to dry linear uh, our job is just to write hyperbola equation we don't need to calculate ABC actually. You can calculate, you take square root, you can calculate it, you take square root 75 here, you can you can get C. It's up to you. Okay? Okay. For this problem, if the question is asked you to uh, sketch, they're a little bit hard because uh, if you take square root of 432, I uh, you know the major axis is on the x axis here. 432 gives you 20. So it's about. Oh, I think I can. So 20, uh, 7.8. So 20.8. So this 24 over here. Um, so this is 20. Uh, right here. So it's your A right here. So your A2 right here. And you can get C if you want to find C. So C squared will be equal to A squared plus B squared, right? So it will be uh, 432. Uh, uh, plus 75 so this is some extra uh, job to do so for 32 plus 75 uh, 8807 uh, then you get C will be plus or minus of square root of that so uh, pretty big number 28 so C 28 C all the way up here so C, oh, this is 24, right? It's 24, it's C right here. It's F right here. That's C. So this is your F2. And this is the curve. So this A2 right here. So the curve will go like this. Uh, here you go. Go through like this. And gonna go like that. There you go. Beautiful hyperbola. There you go. And you can do similarly for the other side, but I don't have enough space. Okay. Everything cool? Alright. So many, so many ways to, um, um, so that I can create the question like this. But you, you guys have to figure it out yourself. You mean you read the, uh, the question, try to use the information. Then you can um, solve the problem. All right. Good. Now I'm going to give you example on for the case we have um, um, center is not at origin. So example. Let's see. I have the no example or not. Uh, so example number one, two. So example uh, number three. Let's see. I have those case or not. All right. Very easy, guy. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Uh, no stretch. No stress. Okay. How about this? Hmm.
Ah, bueno, es. <coughs> What if I have. Um, question like this. Show that. The following equation represent a Conic curve is one of the hardest section. So because the question is it can, it can be transformed in many ways. You know? I can I can create my question for you guys. I mean um, and, and 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 like I can create like 20 version of the question. <laughs> More than that. Uh, so you have you guys have to be flexible. Use the logic. Okay? Don't don't learn by the formula. That's why I say don't learn don't learn by the formula. You need to understand it. <coughs> okay. What if I have something like this? Um, um, try to um, create a problem, but the problem, the, the number must be a nice number, you know? Um, let's see, let's see. All right. I have um, 9x square Let's see So I have um, 9x squared minus 72x minus 16y squared minus 32y equals 60. I had an equation like this and I want you guys to show this up below. It means that you have to complete this question. You see, it looks like a problem we are in for uh, uh, we already done for Alps. Okay. So let's see. So last, first of all, I'm gonna group all the term with x together. So minus I factor this. So you have um, 16y square plus 32y equals 16. Okay. So the way I'm completing the square oh, in this case, uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit different from uh, last time. Okay. Um, again, uh, just some student love this way, the other student love the other way. That's fine. I'm going to do like this. I'm going to factor 9L. And over here, I factor 16 now. Then uh, uh, you see this is a uh, look. It's a quadratic, right? And this you take the middle term, you divide by two, you square it, right? So you have nine x squared minus a x divide by two. Um, divided by two give you four. So four square give you sixteen, right? Then you have to subtract by sixteen. Similarly, so y squared is divided by 2, you 2 squared give you 1, plus 1, then minus 1. Okay. Then you distribute 9 to the first three terms, uh, and you distribute 9 to negative 16, 
9 times 16, minus 16, y squared plus 2, y plus 1, negative 16 times negative 1, so it could be positive 16, equal 30, 30, 16, 16. Right, that is weird. So I'm gonna stop here a little bit for you to, for you guys to process the information. So I distribute it. Okay. You know, if I have the um, the virtual lecture, which is we don't have for this course, then uh, I'm sure that over here you guys will some of you will stop me. I'm sure <laughs> we stop me and ask me why because right now uh, we're doing uh, everything online so um, if you don't get this part you can email me okay actually well it's not really hard you just distribute it distribute it the reason you add and subtract because you cannot just go ahead and throw 16 over there right we don't have 16 originally but now if you want to write 16 you have to subtract by 16 in order to cancel them out because 16 minus 16 is actually the same as this one. right if you don't have anything and you want to get something it means that you have to return that's what I mean okay so over here you have a 9 so this is a perfect square so have x minus 4 square 9 minus 16 or oh, 9 times 16 is uh, 144 uh, so 16 over here, this is perfect square, or well, just one square, you remember a square plus 2ab plus b square, so this is what it look like, so plus 16 equals 16, so 16, 16 cancel out, so what you have is 9x minus 4 square, minus 16y plus 1 square, move 144 to the right, so we have like this, right, everybody agree? Okay. <coughs> now you guys in pre-calculus, so I, 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 I expect that you guys um, to be uh, better than uh, college algebra students. So I'm sure that everybody understand over here. I have because in order to get the form for a hyperbola, over here must be one. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 144. So x minus 4 so 90 by 144 is give you. Give you what? One forty-four divided by nine. Sixteen. Simplified it. Y plus one square. Simplified it. Give you nine. Equal one. There you go. This is horizontal hyperbola. This horizontal hyperbola. I mean, when we talk about vertical hyperbola, I will tell you the difference between two. But right now. This horizontal hyperbola. You know? Actually, the vertical one, the y go in the front, not the x. Not the x. Okay? <coughs> so, you're able to be 16, b right here. Okay? Everything is right there. You can calculate if you want to. Okay? You can get the direct matrix, the. the, the, the uh, the asymptote, the asymptote will be what? Uh, maybe some of the students confused with asymptote. I'm going to do the asymptote for you. The other information you should do it yourself. Okay? So the asymptote will be uh, y minus this will be y minus minus this will be plus y plus 1 equal to plus minus uh, uh, what's, what the formula? What's the formula? Go back. Well, I have to check the formula. Uh, b over a, right? B over a. So b over here. So it will be 3 over 4, right? X. Uh, uh, x, y, x, uh, my, my minus 4. That's it. That's asymptote. Okay. Alright. So that's what it is. That's what it is. Alright. Um, so when you write a equation for... Um, uh, for hyperbola, with the center is not origin, you're gonna do the same thing, okay? You're gonna do the same thing. Uh, you're gonna move everything 
maybe I should do one. And, um, yeah, let's 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 do one. I think I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. Find all the all the information uh, for you guys. Uh, let's draw the picture and uh, write all the, find all the vertices and and um, the C value and everything. You know, the coordinate of the focus. You know. So uh, right now, uh, we know A is uh, A is four, right? B is uh, three. Uh, we know the coordinate, uh, the center I will be uh, uh, 4, negative 1, right? So 4, negative 1 is something uh, like this. For negative 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1 over here. So this is your eye. So the major axis is this this is your x okay because uh, a is uh, 3 a, a is 4 so 1 2 3 so, so the a 1 so oh let me see a is 4 yeah a is 4 so um uh, it will be right over here. So this is your A1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is A2, right? Because A is the distance from the center to the vertex. So we know that the uh, hyperbola will go like this. Uh, let me, let's do the, the BB is 3. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So the box is this. This is the 1, 2, 3. So this is the box. Okay, so the hyperbola go like this. Alright. Uh, so we can get the coordinate of um, coordinate of uh, the vertex, right? So the coordinate over here will be what? Uh, so it'll be negative one, right? So it'll be uh, uh, zero. Be zero negative one so a1 could be zero negative zero negative one right and uh, a2 a2 right here so a2 will be what one two three four five eight right so this is eight so it will be eight negative one okay let's see you had a calculator so, so c you need to find c first so c square equal to a square plus b square so it will be uh 16 plus 9 is uh, 25. So C is 5. C is 5. The distance from the center. So this center. So C is right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is your F2 right here. And 1, 2, 3, 4. This is your F1. Okay. So the coordinate will be what? So we F1 will be uh one two three four so this is negative one negative one right coordinate right here because it's origin is i so it must be negative one negative one so f2 f2 will be what f2 will be um this is uh eight so this is nine right so it will be nine negative one nine negative one okay negative one okay here you go and now you get all the information okay all right so on the test i may ask you to uh, to write an uh, equation for hyperbola with the center is not an origin you're going to do the same way as you do with the ellipse okay all right um, um you have to practice a lot okay make sure you understand all the example and practice a lot Okay, so I'm gonna stop uh, the video right over here for uh, the first part of Hyperbola and the second part uh, of Hyperbola. I will be talking about uh, the vertical Hyperbola. I'll see you next time. Okay.